Hi everyone. Just a little walkthrough for you today of a little folio I've been working on. And I've decorated this with the Abigail papers from Knitwits, which are full of lovely pinks and blues. And I knew I wanted to get this uh, musical paper onto the front. So it's all just flat. This was one of the backing papers. This was one of the images and this was a piece cut out from one of the leftovers from decorating the inside. So when I originally designed this, it was actually going to be for something totally different, but then the Abigail papers came on sale with Knitwits, so I decorated with them instead. But the original plan for this was, if you've been making a larger project using 12 by 12 papers, then if you had a couple of sheets left over, you could make one of these because it's just one piece for the front and I've designed the front, sorry, designed the center to maximize your 12 by 12 papers. Let me zoom out a little bit, there we are. So each of the papers, paper sides are six and a quarter inches wide. So if you're using a 12 by 12, you can cut it down the middle and have your six inches one side and six inches the other. So it wouldn't use much paper at all. So there's no pages of anything here. You literally just open and this is it. Everything's on the front page. Now I've used a pouch quite similar to the one I did in my trifold folio. Now with my trifold folio, the cover piece for this is exactly the same size. So if you wanted to put one of these layouts into the trifold, you could. So, as I said, this pouch is the same as what I had in the center of my trifold folio. And if you have seen that, it's got another pouch above. So this time I've made something a little different. So this bit here is a pocket and I've got a six by four piece of the ephemera from the Digi kit, from the Abigail kit. So I can use this now to show you you can just drop your six by four photos straight in there. And this is actually one of my flip albums, which I first did in my Amazonia memory box. So what you've got when you open it is a flip book. But you may notice what it hasn't got is the photo mats this time because again, I wanted to maximize use of paper. And if I did the photo mats, we would be using six and a quarter inch wide paper. And then you wouldn't get two strips from your 12 by 12. So I've just scaled it down a little bit, but you can still fit your four by fours and you would put your six by four straight on to these bits. That's why I've left this bit totally blank. So you can put two six by four photos a four by four, another six by four, a couple more six by fours, four by four, and a six by four. And then the other page was just simply a waterfall. And you may notice down here, I use my Cool Cats brad closure dies. But this time I've tucked the tab bit, which I usually put the brads on under the paper. But up here, I've used it whole. Just bring it to the camera. And I've just put two black pearls on it. What I have got under here then are magnets. So this is like a little magnetic tuck spot. So you can just tuck your photo in there. And originally, I cut this butterfly and I was gonna just glue down its body and have it 3D. But what I found was when I shut my album, the left wing was getting caught and I didn't want it to fold. So I actually glued down this half and I've kept this half loose and I quite like that now. So this whole piece is one image in the kit, layered onto one of the backing papers then there. Another piece of the ephemera just to show our magnetic tuck spot there and how it works. Just up and click. And then it's just a simple waterfall. 
so it opens up. So you've got a space there for a six by four portrait and then a six by four landscape. And it just repeats then, just moving from the first one is on the left hand side to the right hand side, but always keeping on this one towards the bottom so that you've got your patterns going through that way. And then let's find my postcard one. Once we get to the base, what we've got is a pocket. So we can put some more six by four photos that way or some ephemera pieces just tucked in like so. So really nice, easy project, quite quick to make. Again, the front just carries on all the way around, just a, continuing the pattern, using black on the back to save even more paper. So if you do want to make it with your 12 by 12s, it's quite cost effective. So there we are, my Abigail extremely simple folio with plenty of spaces for your 6x4 and just a few 4x4s as well. So thanks for watching, I hope you liked it and I'll link below to the kit I used here. So if you want to get Abigail, you can just go straight to the Nitwits shop down there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again.